Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone DLC. We are still at the wedding in Runwich, uh, but before I get back into the action, uh, let me make a quick announcement. Uh, basically, uh, there will be some interruptions or irregularities in my upload schedule in the coming weeks. Because, uh, first of all, I'm out of town next weekend and then again the weekend afterwards and I will be uh, having a visitor for a whole week in mid-April. And I won't be able to record when I have my visitor here and I usually record all my episodes on weekends. So again, I have two weekends in a row where I can't record anything at all. Which means I will have uh, a hard time to record enough episodes for every day. I'm currently trying to record a few episodes during the week, but it's certainly not enough uh, to upload regularly every day for the next few weeks. So there will be some days where I have to skip an upload. Um, I will try to schedule it in a way that you don't get like longer breaks, but maybe every other day or whatever. And um, I will, you know, announce it on my Twitter whenever, you know, I have to skip a day or whatever. Currently, I don't know how many episodes I can record and what days I'm going to skip and how many days I will have to skip. But just so that you know, um, the next few weeks are a little bit busy for me. So um, I just don't have the time for a daily episode, I'm afraid. But yeah, uh, that's just as a small announcement before we uh, continue. And yeah, I still have some activities to do in this place. And I I really feel reminded of uh, Murky Waters. I already talked about it last episode. And I think one of the reasons why it reminds me of Murky Waters is because the people here are actually quite nice. <laughs> and Murky Waters was one of the few places in the first game where people were actually nice as well. And I'm not just uh, towards Geralt, uh, but they were also like uh, friendly towards um, the non-human refugees hiding in the cave and they gave them food and stuff. And I mean, these people seem to be pretty nice too. We have like dwarves and halflings who are uh, invited to the uh, celebration and who participate. And that is just very refreshing and a nice change from, you know, places like uh, Novigrad or many places in Valen where people are just so spiteful and full of hatred all the time and really unfriendly and rude and these people are just nice, you know? I like that. But yeah, let's go and see um, what we can do in this place. lives down the hill. They stole this way. They're right again. Order them have gone wrong. Them's the ones. Damned cock in this room. What good's Jossie's kid to them? Took him as punishment. Mrs. Joss held back two sacks of grain on them. Joss came home from town, tossed the sacks on a cart, and hauled them to the woods. Got the little one back only then. I shall in do the impossible! With such evil a foot I even shall here. Well, I took care of the night, so that problem uh, should be solved, and they shouldn't be look, bothering look, you look. anymore. Munchkin's playing cards. In the mood to lighten Geralt's purse? Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. I beg to differ about lightening my purse. I mean, I have a lot of it, but I don't want to lose it playing Gwent. Uh, but I suppose um, Vladimir will have his way anyway. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? <laughs> Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. <laughs> No Seriously? Need for insults. <laughs> uh, you are terrible, Vladimir. Um, well, I suppose he wouldn't apologize, huh? It's no insult. It's the truth. He's a midget. Like I said, that's an insult. Would you call your chum a giant? Shut up. You play in or not? Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. No. All in. <laughs> Seriously. We never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Ugh. You are terrible, Vladimir. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. Uh, better not if he's waging all my money. Right, I have the cow card now. What does it even do? 
Summon Avenger. When this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new, new unit card to take its place. Um, okay, but how would I remove it? I mean, it has zero value, so it won't be scourged away. I guess it's not a melee card, so it can't be removed by the villain Chattenmouth either. Um... I'm not sure if I can use a decoy on it. I mean, that would be weird. Probably, like, cheaty. Anyway, I, I'm just going to take the card in my deck. Maybe I can figure out what happens if I play it. Okay, um, let's do this. Okay, a decoy, Scorch, we have some Spies. Well, this is actually a decent deck. I'll take it. So, what does this card, uh, the leader card, do again? Destroy your enemy's strongest siege units if the combined strength of all his or her siege units is 10 or more. Well, at the moment this isn't really an issue for me because I don't have that many siege units. Okay, but it might become an is issue if I play both of them at the same time. Okay, gotta remember that. But yeah, let's start by playing some Spice. Mm. Well, maybe I let him play his Blue Stripes first so I can use a Scorch. Yeah, let's try that. Assuming he has more of them anyway. Well, that's one way to do it. I'll just start with my hero cards. Mm. Come on, play, play more blue stripes, guys, if you can. Well, maybe he can't. Okay, but I mean, that is a good opportunity for Scorch as well. So, let's use it. <laughs> and you're playing the Medic figures. Hmm. <sighs> right. What am I going to do? I suppose... You're not going to play the blue stripes, guys. Oh, now you're playing them, huh? All right, all right. Can match that. <laughs> I really hope you don't have a scorch card. I'll be so mad. Nope. And I mean, I'm not really concerned with the frost, because I can remove it. Uh, the question is, do I want to do that now? I really wish I knew what his last card is. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's play Fall Test. Remove the frost. I, I figure if he had a Scorch card, he would have played it already. No, he doesn't. Okay, and now he played that card again. Mm, I mean, I really only need one card for the next round. Let's see. Um, I guess I will play the commander's horn so that I can win this round. And since he has no more cards, I can just play whatever and should be able to win this, right? Yeah. Well, 
that's already more than necessary. Oh, there we go. Victory! Your tits up, mate. Slap those asses' <laughs> ears on your asses' noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <laughs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! <laughs> we are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. <laughs> know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Just cut it out, Vladimir. Ah, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster, <laughs> faster, <laughs> till we expire. And now, a special treat for our what special guest. What are you doing here? The Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Chuck. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for a loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. Uh -huh. Good at this. Hmm. I am the Lord of the Dead. <laughs> well, I, I could picture Vladimir uh, saying that, definitely. man here who could outdance me. It's a gift. My legs are preternaturally skilled. I never expected the members of Algeir's band to have a taste for dancing. Yet it's so. We dance and dance at every opportunity. As fond of fun as fighting, our motto. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner? Um, not sure I do. Nope. Not okay. Oh, not okay, Vladimir. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Hmm. Well, yeah, apparently he couldn't resist. Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. 
Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, it, it would have been nice to do that, because doing it with, with Vladimir possessing Geralt's body makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Um... Yeah, I would like to think that Geralt wouldn't force himself on Shani like that. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. <laughs> I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me... angry. But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Perhaps a bit of thanks is in order. Seems I've <laughs> snared the little Robin for you. You can shut up now. Yeah. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin. Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. I don't know. You this much, he never does anything simply, and certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes listening to you talk. I'm going back in. <laughs> Better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. Alright, um, let's see if we can talk to Odim, the who mysteriously Come, let's do something wild. showed up at the wedding. Which I'm sure is not coincidence. Let's go and talk to him. So, what are you doing here? Not gingerbreads now, but flour, honey eggs and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. You're being very cryptic again. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. But that wreath uh, suits My, you what a lovely perfectly. Dress. The color suits you exquisitely. <laughs> Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days and always wished to be just like you. Hmm. Well, yes, apparently he knows that that's not Gerald. Wait. You can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because... I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained mm. hidden from me? Of course. Someone like you, meaning no one. 
I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Why do you think that? Prove it. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the <laughs> leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shadi isn't here for you. She is here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Ouch. <laughs> oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me. Cornered me like a rat. But Olgierd told everyone I flew at all five. Took them on, all at once. Alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgierd visits my grave. Often. Pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. <laughs> what are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Well, it just got interesting. Damn it. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Old kid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. And now Revelon. Time won't wait. Well, that was a very weird encounter. But um, apparently, um, there is still more stuff for me to do at the wedding. So, uh, let's forget this unpleasant encounter and see what else we can do around here. Look at the fools falling over themselves to catch a painting. Smearing their oh, wedding gold no, with muck. No. Aha! Finally, a manly man's sport. A manly man's sport? What exactly a is this? What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, like <laughs> me. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose. Nay, hey, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Okay. Well, um, what can I win? King of the swineherds, eh? And what's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself! Well, um, let's chase some pigs. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored! Get that cripple out of there! Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. 
Well, apparently this is a manly man sport, so <laughs> let's do it. Um, drive the pigs Shame into no the pan. Okay, it's, it's the yellow Stare ones, huh? Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. There we go. You see that, Shani? One big pen. Okay, this one is in. Now let's herd in the second one. No, this is the wrong direction. This is completely wrong. You need to go in the opposite direction. Over there, over there. Well, this pig is a lot more pig-headed than the one before. Okay, this this might work. This might work. There we go. Just go in. Yes, two pigs. Heard it. Feel foolish peasants. Learned a lesson from your better. <laughs> are the pigs penned? Indeed, they are. Master Witcher. We ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. <laughs> Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. So, what did I win? Just don't go hiding <laughs> it in some pouch. Pick. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. King of Swine. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witness such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. <laughs> you were a joy to watch. I'm not sure if this is really a compliment, though. How does my heart's captor like the... Uh, prize I won for her? The rag-stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Mm, tell me, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Maybe she's just not interested. Um, perhaps you're just not my type. Yeah. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's <laughs> type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one. With the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? I hope you have a few fruit nicknames for a brunette. Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Um, my dear girl, you are a miracle. Did it hurt when you fell from the heavens? That's like the worst pickup line ever. Which is probably why I should take it. <laughs> Let's do this. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Mm. And how? <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well. Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Lestri, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far <laughs> from her. Um... <laughs> 
Oh, oh god, oh god, again, I think the first is probably what Vladimir would say, yeah. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads, mutants calling us names! Stand down, swineherds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. Now where's a plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Well, uh, this escalated quickly. <laughs> I was just talking about how everyone here is nice, except, well, Hands Geralt or Vladimir. Oh, apparently, I actually have to fight these guys job. now. With fence poles, huh? Okay. I guess I can do that. <laughs> oh dear. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take this a licking from a boar. Too difficult, I suppose. Watching. And the last guy. And there we go. <laughs> Had enough oh. peasant spawn. Thought yourself a match for a Von Ever. I mean, a witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jaw yaps. <laughs> Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well? Go on, chase her! In your dreams. There it is! You fucked up! She's gone! Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. <laughs> with my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh, Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess, you do the explaining. Oh, all right. Yeah, don't, don't ruin things for me. <laughs> Your methods, quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. Hm. It all went according to plan. Yeah, he probably had his fun doing that, so in a sense it went according to plan. Eliminating potential obstacles, see? All part of my plan. Usually I take a few passing blows in the doing, and the young miss in question then swoons with pity, tends <laughs> to my wounds. So what went wrong? It's this damned malformed body. All sinews, and this mug? Were I to wear my own, oh, it would be another story altogether. The maidens always fell from my melancholy eyes and the swagger in my scars. But I'll gladly try again. Just indicate a lass and... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. Yeah, maybe we can find some other diversion that doesn't involve beating up people. Um, ah, right. So good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more, more fun. Well, there are at least two more spots that I can check out. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. <laughs> if I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Vladimir, you're getting really desperate. Okay, uh, what else can I do here? Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out Miss Slipper. 
I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. <laughs> oh, look, dearie. I did. Tape there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Well, sounds easy enough. Maybe I should retrieve the shoe. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the miss in question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Well, um, how about we join this fun? Oh my! Oh, there's more to come. Yeah, Geralt's uber sexy pants, I'm sure. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. <laughs> I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. It's a village pond. How deep can it be? All right, um, Observe, well, Shani. My eyes I'm are glued. I'm going to find that slipper for her. Alright, let's see. Where is the slipper? Okay, it's over here. And is there anything else in this pond? Apparently so. Oh, well, all the other lost shoes, huh? Well, since I'm here, I may as well pick them all up, huh? Because Vladimir is probably counting on many kisses from all the ladies who lost their slippers here. <laughs> um, but I can't really find any other slippers, so it's two? Oh no, here's another one. All right. I hope that's all of them. But yeah, I, I think I think that's all of them. Let's bring them back. Damn mucky that pond sank in up to my armpits. <laughs> I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Right. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. <laughs> and clever. Just figuring that out? Mm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm hmm Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. You are still terrible, Vladimir. Uh... Thank you. Okay, okay, apparently. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. Actually, I don't think there is anything else for me to do except go to the barn 
for the capping ceremony. So yeah, it's actually one minute before midnight, so Vladimir has to leave this body soon. But um, this is actually a good time to save and thus to end the episode. In the next episode we will wrap up the party, I suppose. And I hope that Vladimir will leave for good, because uh, he's, he's getting a little bit out of hand at times so it's it's time it's time that he goes back to his crib anyway as usual thank you for watching and see you again next time